Now we're gonna move on to the movement part of our roping drills. 10 yards, and you're gonna do the roping drills in between the cones. We're gonna show you a couple of drills that are gonna help you with your mechanics. The first one is a high knee run rope, all right? Very simple, very much like running in place with your knees up. You're gonna start here, get your knees up, keep the rope going, staying on the balls of your feet, just like a high knee drill with a rope in your hands. All right. Then, of course, you want to return on the way back. Remember, on the return, you can vary the speed of the rope to help you develop speed with your lift. All right. And we'll just change the tempo a little bit. That's going to help you to get more knee lifts in, in between the cones. Now we're going to show you a drill that's going to help you work on the swing phase of your leg cycling action. And it's a simple straight leg drill working from the hips. You want to come down on the balls of your feet. You want to keep your knees locked. Very simple. And pull it under. Always again on the return. If you want to change the speed, be, you're able to do that. Now, the next drill we're going to show you is for your backside recovery mechanics, okay? It's a simple butt kick drill with the rope, and you want to still follow all the same rules of roping in between the 10 yards, staying on the balls of your feet, keeping the rope going at a certain tempo, you don't want to drag your feet or scuff, cause any friction. You want to step off the ground nice and smooth, okay? Bring your heel up to your butt. The return, you can pick up the speed if you'd like. Try to get more reps in. The next one we're going to show you deals with multi-directional sports, okay? We realize we've been showing you a lot of linear type stuff. Now we're gonna just show you some lateral movement, okay, to help you guys with your uh, multi-directional type sports. So this is a simple lateral high knee drill, and you're gonna do it just like you do linearly, but you're gonna do it in a lateral movement. So it's up, knees up, push with the outside leg, lift the inside leg. Now this is an advanced drill, an advanced roping drill, you want to make sure that you become proficient in the other roping drills before you start trying to do your multi-directional stuff. Step. Now you're going to be weaker on one side or better on one side than you are on the other when you start doing multi-directional. Be patient with yourself and work on your weak side as well as your strong side. Now the last drill we're gonna show you as a part of the leg cycling action is your plantar flexion and dorsiflexion or toe up and toe down, all right? Very, very simple. You wanna keep your knees locked, okay? Take them totally out of the picture and you wanna pretend like you're stepping on and off the gas pedal. You only wanna do this for half the distance, okay? Because this is such a high tension drill, you don't wanna go the entire 10 yards, maybe five yards out and then five yards back. So it's like this, toe up, toe down. keeping your knees out of the action and pointing your toes up and then down. Much like smashing a bug on the ground, once again you could go and vary the tempo going back. Toe up, toe down. You want to pretend like you're smashing a bug on the ground. Now that is your simple toe up, toe down drill that's going to help you with your push off and your speed development. Now when you're Doing your roping drills, you want to always remember, start off with your stationary stuff first. We've given you a few drills that are isolated and stationary in nature. You want to work and become proficient in them before you start moving to your movement roping drills. And you want to start off with your lower or elementary movement drills before you start moving to the advanced drills. These roping drills will help you by replacing some non-athletic jogging and stuff. It's going to help you go a long way to improving the quality of your workouts.